Now that we have our lid, we have our base, we're going to start a new assembly. So it's going to be important that we have these things both saved. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the, the old lid and base that I had from before. So it's not going to quite look like the ones that you've created here with me. Uh, they'll still look nice. So there's our maze base. I have that labeled. There is my keychain top. I have that labeled. We're going to open that up, place it into a file, and assembly on this should be really simple. We're just going to go here to constrain. I'm going to pick a face. I'm going to click on the top of this. It takes three constraints to fully constrain this. And if I don't want to use mate, the easier one to use sometimes is flush. So I can go over and say at the edge of this piece, my lid, and the outside edge of the base have to line perfectly up. And that, the same thing with the other side, the lid and the base also match up. Hit apply. And then we can take a look and see what we got. Now, I don't know that in the previous video with the base, we talked about where these start and stop holes were. Never mind. It looks like we definitely did talk about that. Okay, so that is everything we have here. Um, if you would like to check to see what kind of a fit we have here, we can go into Inspect, Analyze Interference, Set 1 will be the blue part, Set 2 is the yellow part, or the base and the lid, and it says there are no interferences detected. Again, your interference will come when you actually 3D print the parts, that the, the lid will be smaller than the base. Uh, we could also go in and double click on one of these pieces here and make a new sketch. If you go to slice your graphics with your F7, uh, you can zoom in close and see where that gap actually is. So if we project our geometry, this is currently how much space we have between the lid and the base, which is about 0 0.005, five thousandths. Uh, the plastic will definitely be thicker than that when you go to print that out. So this is everything you need. Now we just have to make a drawing file. So save what you got, and in the next video we're going to make a drawing.